Hello, my name is Cecilia Dobbs Walton and I'm the Public Affairs Specialist for the City of Biloxi. I am here to deliver today's Be Prepared report. This is being recorded on Friday, May the 1st, 2020 at 3.30 p.m. Today, the Mississippi State Department of Health reports that in the past 24 hours, 397 new cases of the coronavirus were diagnosed throughout the state. This is the largest number of cases reported by the department since tolling began on March the 11th. As for the deaths, 20 new deaths from the coronavirus were reported today. Of those 20, 11 occurred between March the 29th and April the 16th. These were determined after death certificate investigations. In Harrison County, three new cases were reported in the past 24 hours and no new deaths. This chart, which is also on the city's website, shows the 14-day trend in Harrison County. In Jackson County, eight new cases of the coronavirus were reported and no new deaths. No new cases or deaths were reported in Hancock County. Now here's the news today. Mayor Andrew Fofo Gillich today announced details of opening up Biloxi again. This is a set of guidelines designed to help maintain public health and safety in businesses. The set of guidelines does not open any businesses not already authorized to open by the governor, but sets standards for those already open and those who are awaiting approval. For the record, let's remember this. The governor currently has an executive order in place. It's called Safer at Home, and it is in effect until 8 a.m. on Monday, May the 11th, unless modified or extended. It allows the opening of some retail at 50% capacity. Restaurants can only offer takeout, curbside, or delivery. Dining rooms, even outdoor dining, is not allowed under the governor's executive order. With the announcement of opening up Biloxi again, Mayor Gillage is establishing protocols for various sectors of the Biloxi business community. These protocols or guidelines for opening are for those already opened, which includes retailers, non-casino hotels, and healthcare facilities. The protocols are also established for those awaiting word from the governor that they can open. Those include dine-in restaurants, hair and nail salons, and fitness centers. These protocols were developed after a series of individual meetings and small meetings with various members of the Biloxi business community. The mayor is aware that everyone is anxious to open. Again, this document does not open any businesses except for those already outlined by the governor. These guidelines are what we expect to see in Biloxi when the approval is given to reopen. We expect all businesses and customers to adhere to these guidelines if they are to do business in Biloxi and do business safely. Please remember that the City of Biloxi still has a nightly curfew from 11 p.m. to 5 a.m. Continue to follow CDC guidelines and continue to do your part to help stop the spread of the coronavirus. That's today's report. Please check back again tomorrow. On behalf of Mayor Gillage and the members of the Biloxi City Council, we say God bless you and God bless Biloxi. We leave you today with a message from Mayor Gillish about the 2020 census. Can we count you in? Hello, I'm Fofo Gillich. We like to say we are Biloxi, and now it's time to show how many of us there are. It's important you know that a lot is riding on the 2020 census. Billions of dollars in federal grants are at stake, about $6.7 billion for us in Mississippi. Everything from Medicare, Medicaid, TANF, funding for first responders, schools, roads, and bridges. The census is used to determine your representation in Congress, even the makeup of your city council, and the sharing of state and local revenues. An undercount means we won't get what we deserve. I hope you can see we must have an accurate count. I'm asking you to mail it in, go online or by phone. Get it done so that we're in line for our share of these needed funds. We are Biloxi, and now we need to make sure everyone in Biloxi is counted. Please do your part. Encourage your family and neighbors to do their part too. Let's make it count, Biloxi.